Yeah, um, you know, we just uh, one trying to make sure that that Javon will be okay. That's that's you know took a very violent fall and uh, tried to come back in the game, but just you know cautionary reasons and for health reasons, you know, uh, took him back out. And so without, you know, Charlie and, and, a, and a pretty late scratch, just having to kind of reorganize and retool and I think it affected, it, even if he's not scoring, just affected the other guys, the spacing and, you know, attention to to other guys that, that normally Charlie would, would be paying attention to. So um, that, that um, threw, threw us off a little bit as well, but, you know, just not, Again, with, with the game plan that we tried to have uh, and continue to attack uh, the paint, and and uh, I don't know that we did that enough. You know, we wanted to get in the paint more. You know, if we didn't have anything to lift fake, get to the line, or you know, kick out, and that's how you're going to get your rhythm shots from perimeter. And and that flow didn't come about as many times as we needed to. And uh, as typically happens when you're not scoring the way you want to, it can affect other parts of the game. And you know, there were times that we were energized and times we got a little lethargic because of that. And uh, so, you know, Providence has experienced enough that they made just enough, you know, plays and shots to uh, to keep us at bay. You know, again, it was a four, six, seven point game and sometimes it seemed like a larger deficit just because of our, our inability to get and create not just baskets, but easy baskets sometimes. And uh, and so, you know, one, we got to figure out you know, where our, where our backcourt is health-wise, and then we've got to be able to, to understand, you know, moving on from here, um, how we can get more consistent at the things that we're, that we're being asked to do. We'll go ahead with questions. Uh, Lawrence Kramer, you can go first. Uh, Coach, could you talk about the, the decision to bring Romy off, off the bench uh, tonight? Yeah, it was, a, it was an in-house decision. You know, it wasn't uh, – and it wasn't for long. It was just, just you know, making an in-house decision on, on, on things that, that we want to make sure that we keep aligned and uh, and how we, you know, how, how we do things uh, as, as part of our program. Uh, next question from Steve Newhouse. Go ahead. Dave, what was the game plan for uh, Nate Watson? You guys did a pretty good job of neutralizing him tonight. Yeah, we just, you know, we know that between him and Duke, the, the two great skilled and proper options and uh you know wanted to try to take him out of the game two different ways one is to to you know send a second defender at him early i think we did that enough to kind of keep him off balance he didn't get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities and then two to kind of you know, have him more responsible for for playing on the defensive end and pick and roll defense um so we got him a little bit of foul trouble uh, he had two you know at the half and picked up his third early uh, and then, you know, he, he didn't have the kind of looks that he's accustomed to. Uh, you know, but, uh, again, I think if, if you're going to do that, you've got to make sure the other guys that you're, that you're uh, defending don't don't get what, what they are supposed to get or you can minimize that. So, you know, Duke had a really good game, both rebounding and scoring, and other guys, as I said, made timely shots. Uh, and, and, and so you know, what we did do well with Watson, we didn't do with all the other guys. Go ahead, Lawrence. Uh, yeah, Coach, with the, with the offensive, you know, problems that you talked about, you know, tonight in some of the other games this season, the Big East, do you feel like, you know, those are, are issues you guys can solve before the Big East tournament or before this you know, season comes to an end? I just know that, that uh, you know, every day is a, is, a, is a new day. It's a learning experience. You know, we, again, there are times that we, we do things and we do them pretty well. Um, my, my, my issue with how we do it is just, you know, doing more of it, doing it more consistently across the board, you know. So tonight it was, again, I thought we could have um, did a better job, you know, myself, our coaches, our players are getting to the line more. Uh, and, and and we didn't do that as much as, as we had talked about, again, by, by getting the ball closer to the rim. Those things are not, you know, insurmountable in terms of getting better. Uh, you know, ball movement, body movement, we've been sometimes, and again, the, the – the, the games or even in practice, we had the ball fly around and look look crisp, uh, look sharp. But you know, sometimes when uh, when we get into a, a drought situation, those things kind of get stagnated. So we've got to figure that part of out both physically and emotionally of how we can you know create more opportunities 
uh, by sharing the ball. You know, we don't we don't have a, you know, that one guy that can get you 30, 35. So we got to do it sometimes, uh, you know, in, in a multitude of ways with different guys uh, in position to make plays. And so we got to just continue to work on it. Uh, one more question from Steve Newhouse. Go ahead. Uh, and if I can make it two questions. Um, Dave, uh, how serious is the knee injury to uh, Charlie? You know, I, I, I'm not exactly sure. You know, it kind of happened midweek. We were working on it and, you know, trying to get him to, to see if it was flexible enough. Um, uh, so it, it's a little bit of a difference. not your average knee injury. There's no ligament damage or anything else. But, you know, with the swelling and, and bruising on the inside, it, it's something that is, is hampered him enough where, he, you know, he can't do basketball things. And so um, I don't I couldn't tell you if it's day to day, week to week or what have you. I just know that I'll, I'll leave it in the doctors and, and Mike Summer, our trainer's hands to kind of, uh, you know, let us know what's going on, you know, as, as we as we get to the beginning of the week and before we get back on the road. And, you know, same thing with Javon. we got to figure out, you know, after after tonight what what that was, that spill. It was a pretty violent spill. It, you know, it, it hurt his legs, hurt his shoulder, hurt his head. So we got to figure all that out as well for, for both of those guys. Okay. Also wanted to get your thoughts on uh, Mr. Jones on uh, his play tonight. You know, you know, he's he's a very assertive and aggressive personality. That's how he plays the game. You know, he's pretty smart. Uh, but just trying to be uh, understanding that you know it's very very difficult to throw a guy into uh, a season you know this late and say hey perform and do everything we need you to do. You know, he's still learning offense, still learning timing. So learning concepts, you know, then on the defensive end and how we're trying to do things uh, and one wrong move or not talking here uh, can throw a lot of things off. So he's a very willing learner. He keeps a very positive attitude. Uh, he's, he's both talented and aggressive. So those are things that certainly will, will help us. It's just making sure that we don't give him too much too soon so that it affects him both physically and psychologically. You know, plus the fact that we got to get him in, in, in better game Get it better and get it in shape. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. You're welcome.